What's up everybody, back today to talk about The Boy, the latest PG-13 horror movie to hit the theaters, directed by William Brent Bell, and he did other films like Where, which I thought was pretty decent, and The Devil Inside, which I actually thought was good till the stupid stupid ending that I always try to block out of my mind. And the film stars Lauren Cohen from Walking Dead fame. So let's talk about The Boy. Basically, the story is about a killer doll and Laura Cohen plays this American nanny. She goes to Britain and she gets hired by this family to watch their son who turns out to be a freaking doll which you know obviously is creepy from the beginning. The doll looks creepy. He has a really cool name, Brahms. And when I saw the trailer to this film I was like I want to see this movie and then I was like it's PG-13 and I was like I you know sometimes I don't mind PG-13 films and I think this is one that kind of worked. I love the name Brahms. I don't know if you're gonna have an evil British doll I think his name being Brahms is like perfect. So let's get into the good and the bad. First of all like I said it's decent. It's much better than the horror films they release in theaters usually even though it's it's PG-13. It's a slow burn. You know, it has this cool twist at the ending that the trailer did not ruin. I liked the twist. I don't want to ruin it for you guys, but I thought it was kind of cool. I knew there was going to be a twist, but I really didn't see this one coming, so I was kind of surprised. And like I said, the trailer didn't ruin it, so I got to give him props for that. The doll, like I said, creepy looking as hell. I mean, he's just like, you know, a little British boy doll. I don't know. And he's kind of like big. He's creepier than Annabelle, definitely. And then the humor. Some parts at the beginning are intended to be a little bit funny, especially when uh, Brahms's mother is showing uh, Lauren Cohen around the house. She's explaining the rules Brahms needs to follow. And those parts are a little bit funny, like her reaction when she first sees Brahm and all that. But there's a lot of unintentional comedy and I kind of go to horror movies to laugh just as much as I do to be scared. And I wasn't very scared at this movie, but I did laugh quite a few times. I mean, how serious can you take a killer doll? It's just kind of, you know, the hubris kind of built in already. So I don't hold it against it. I thought it was kind of lighthearted. It didn't try to be super creepy. They only had a couple of jump scares. They really didn't try to throw a bunch in there. So I did respect them for that. Let's get into the bad for a second. Of course, a lot of you guys aren't going to like it because it's PG-13, which I don't really hold against the movie till I see it. You know, the way I look at it is some kid who's like 11 or 12 is going to watch this movie and hopefully it generates an interest in horror films. He's going to go out and he's going to find the better stuff. I don't know. I think that's kind of a good thing. You, you know, get them early like all the brands like to do, you know, suck them in early and that ensures a good future for horror films. And like I said, this film isn't the greatest. The twist might turn a lot of people off. Like I said, I don't want to go into it too much because it's going to, you know, ruin it for you. But I can see people being turned off by this twist because it changes gears completely, the film. And the goofiness, I liked it. I thought it was funny. Some people were going to be like, God, it was the worst, you know, dialogue ever. Or the acting was horrible or whatever. I didn't think so. I thought it was kind of funny. And so I didn't really hold that against it. I mean, it's a killer doll movie. You know, it's like, he's a doll. You're scared of it. Therefore, it's kind of funny because you're an adult. And, you know, what she's trying to explain to people how the doll's, like, alive and stuff, it just comes off as funny. So, I couldn't hold the goofiness and funniness against it. So, all in all, the film wasn't that bad for a PG-13 movie. I kind of enjoyed watching it in the theater. I actually heard one kid who was, like, 11 or 12 off to the side saying he was freaking scared to his mom. So, you know, it did its job for the under-13 crowd. The people I was with seemed to like it. It was a full theater, and they clapped at the end. So, I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. And that's my scale. I laugh at horror movies. I don't think killer dolls are that scary. I'm not going to say rush out to the theaters and watch it. But, you know, check it out at some point when you get a chance. I thought it was decent. A little slow burn. I think that's the biggest critique that everybody can agree on. It was a little slow. But it does kind of ratchet it up a little bit. And then at the end when the twist comes, you're like, oh, you know, it paid off. So I was a little bit happy. So 3.5 out of 5. If you've seen the boy, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Am I totally off base? Am I crazy? Um, was it not scary at all? And it wasn't really scary at all. But, like I said, I found it enjoyable for other factors. So... Comment down below and I'll see you guys soon.